my guys a few days ago i went to tj maxx and i found something that i wanted to share with you a harry potter jigsaw puzzle <laughs> this jigsaw that i found has has a thousand pieces 24 by 30 inches and it has the um, movie posters putting in just one picture and it's very well blend so i found this puzzle and i was looking at it and i was t talking to myself like i haven't built a puzzle in a long time quite frankly like five years probably since the last time i touched one or maybe more and i was getting a desire to actually build a jigsaw and then i was lucky enough to find one a big I'm from Harry Potter on TJ Maxx. I'm probably rusty <laughs> for this kind of thing. But yeah, I found this one. But you know what? You know what is better than just one puzzle? Ta da! <laughs> Two puzzles. <laughs> the Yosada Magic is splendid. <laughs> I on, not only found one, but I found two. This other one has the same premise as the previous one but with books. They have the book cover of all the Harry Potter books and then they have the poster for all the Harry Potter movies. This one is more colorful, so I'm guessing this is going to be easier to build because this one, this one, my guys, is all blue and black. I don't know how, how we'll be able to finish this one with all those similar colors. So yes, two Harry Potter jigsaws. Let's go. <laughs> I will be starting with the one that I considered the most difficult. It was a little bit difficult to take it out of the box, so <laughs> good one. The pieces are interesting. They don't have a straight cut. They will have some uh, angular borders. I enjoy the fact that there are no simple shapes. I started by sorting out the pieces by color. <laughs> interesting. Uh, most of the pieces were black and dark blue so that was a huge pile but i managed to get some of the faces um i always like to do the border first whenever i think it is going to be a difficult puzzle because it helps me out put everything in perspective so that is what i'm going to do with this puzzle My guys, I thought that this piece was going to be Harry's scar <laughs> on his forehead, but no, it was <laughs> Voldemort's nose. <laughs> so yeah, oh well, the lack of nose. So yeah, <laughs> fun fact. There is nothing better than to do anything with a frappe in hand. Look who I found! It's little Dobby! Let's make him free!
huge challenge for me they looked similar all the way in i had to look all the time the photo so i could find some like similarities some waves something that will define which letter was it from each, uh, each of the little pieces it took me probably more than an hour uh, an hour or two hours just to figure it out I really enjoyed this puzzle, but I have to say that I hated the letters. They were confusing to build, um, they were confusing to find and identify which part of the letters you were building, and the amount of similarity within the blues and greens, that was a headache. I don't want to repeat that part. Also took me 9 hours to complete in total. I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 just because it was a real headache to complete the middle part. And my guys, I am not the only one doing these puzzles. My partner wanted to hop on the train of puzzles and he decided that he also wanted to try out building one. Uh, he is not a puzzle builder, I think he had done one before, just one, and he didn't finish it. So this is like very new to him. And he will be building a Disney team puzzle that was gifted to him during the holidays. I hope you enjoy. He had a lot of fun doing it and he was tryharding so he could beat me before I could finish everything. <laughs> many colors and the posters are so cute that I fell in love with it. I was, I am kind of sad and pity that I was not able to build that puzzle <laughs> but I'm gonna give it to him and enjoy it a lot. His little guinea pigs approved. 10 out of 10. Now moving on to the one that I was waiting the most. I think this is the one that I'm going to enjoy the most because of the distinctive colors that each of the squares have. I started by separating the eight squares. There were two squares that have pretty predominant color and those were blue and green which was easy to sort out and the other ones have some distinctive features. So this one was really easy and fast to sort out the pieces. 
And this puzzle, I actually didn't do the borders first because I felt that I could just build it out from uh, square to square. And it went really fast as soon as I have them all separate. the final results Look at this little detail. I love it. Uh, it's a, I think it's a dog. I think it's serious, but I'm not sure because it looked like a panther rather than a dog. But yeah, that was, that's so cute in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna give this puzzle a 10 out of 10. I really love doing this one. It's enjoyable because of the amount of colors it has. It is very distinctive. It took me six hours to complete, which is uh, fairly quickly for me. And I was constantly moving through the puzzle because of the colors. So I was never on a stop of putting pieces, which gave me more gratification on building it. So this one I totally recommend. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. That will be really appreciated. Thank you very much for watching.